chickadees. It's Miss Heather. See, again, and we're going to do another art history project, okay? So if you guys remember last time, if you watched it, we did the Silly Kandinsky craft. And we did some of his circles in a circle. And we did this really cool thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. This one, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be on the artist George Surratt. He's a very famous painter who paints using dots only. Now, we've actually done some artwork with just dots, usually with the bingo daughters because they are a little easier. But we are going to look at his famous painting. Here it is. It is called Sunday Afternoon at La Grande Jatte. Now, this painting is actually pretty large, and it's made up of just dots. That style is called pointillism. So you can see here just how large that is compared to the person. And this, which is one of my favorites, is actually at the Art Institute in downtown Chicago. So I love going there. I love art. You guys know this in science. Um, but what we're going to do is um, we're going to paint using just dots. Now you're wondering, how am I going to do this? Well, all you need is paint, okay? Now, I don't have paint, so what I did was I actually made paint. And I was able to Google it online, and it turns out that you just need some flour, a little bit of salt, and some warm water, and um, food coloring. So what I did was I just did like two scoops, spoonfuls of flour in there, a pinch of salt, and some warm water until it was the right consistency. And then I did do a bunch of food coloring to get this vibrant color. Now, I will say that as I started my little underwater project, you can see as it's drying, it's a little lighter. So if you want to go back over it again, you can. But I want you guys, if you want to do this with me, go ahead and pause the video and grab what you need. Now, I'm using Q-tips to use my dots, but you can use the end of a paintbrush. You can use your fingers. You can use anything that you have, even bingo daughters. If you have those at home, that works. If you have paint, you can use that. If you want to just use markers and do dots like that, you can do that too. Remember, whatever your heart desires, this is your artwork. So you want to do it the way you want to do it. Okay. The only thing we're doing is using dots and see how can we do it. And by the way, did you know that it took him two years. George Surratt, George Surratt <laughs> took two years to create that painting. How cool is that? That's a pretty long time to be doing that, right? All right, let's get started. So as you can see, I already started my painting. I decided to underwater theme, you know, because we are the turtles in our classroom. So I did a little goldfish with his little bubbles. And you see, it's just all out of dots, okay? I started with the outline, as you can see with the turtle, and now we're going to go in and we're going to color it in, okay? So you're just going to use dots. That's it. It's super simple. It does take a little bit longer than, say, you're just going to paint it, but I think it's going to turn out amazing. Who knew something like this turns out really cool, huh? Pointillism. Basically, you're using a bunch of dots to create a picture. Now, you guys can use any color you want, any art medium that of you want, whatever it might be, paint, um, colored pencils, markers, bingo daughters, ink pads, and using whatever you like to create your artwork, okay? And I want you guys, what do we always say? Try your best, right? I never expect perfection from you guys, right? Because you guys are still learning. You guys are still growing. I want you guys to just to have fun and enjoy because you guys are learning without even knowing it. You're working on your fine motor skills without even knowing it, right? Your imagination, your creativity, all of this. And if you make your own paint, you're working on some science there and some math if you measure everything out, right? And you can mix colors, do some color mixing. You don't have to use the basic that comes in the food coloring package, 
right? Mix some colors. See what you got going on there. And if you want to do a turtle that's green, you can add different color greens, right? So here's my little turtle, my little traveling turtle that I did. And then here's my cool little goldfish. Oh, it's upside down. As you can see right here. Not pretty cool. And I did a blue background so that I didn't have to do blue dots all in the back because I'm on a limited time schedule. But if you would like to do dots on the whole thing, go right ahead. And I want to see it. If you guys want to take a picture and send it, you can. I want to see how awesome these are, okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later. I miss you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you guys soon. We'll get some big group hugs going on, okay? Bye, chickadees.